So look what I got for Christmas. Vanilla Roma. Well, it's Tuesday. Grocery day. Last week, toilet paper. And I got toilet paper. This week, paper towel. <laughs> just in case there's a run on this stuff. <laughs> no, it's just the normal kind of stocking up. That's just kind of how I live my life. And I recommend others to uh, just have enough to make sure you can get by when things are kind of crazy. <laughs> One pack. No, not one pack. Call the place. I'm calling the police. Anyway, talking about crazy. Um, so last week was week 52. This is week 53. And uh, I'm officially not doing check-in Tuesday in the same way. Um, but what I am doing is I'm going to revitalize a, a, a YouTube channel that I've had called Project TSG. And it's still there. I just haven't posted to it much. And uh, I, I just kind of got to thinking, you know, I'm going to take some of the inspirational things that I was doing for Project TSG and I'm going to continue them um, because the Tuesday, check-in Tuesday that I've been doing here on this channel um, was well received, but it seems a little misplaced to me. So I'm going to go back to Project TSG and so I'm going to actually post this video there. So if you're watching it here, you don't need to go there. But I'm going to recommend and suggest that you go to Project TSG. There will be a link. Go to that. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe and click the bell over there. As well as over here if you haven't done it. And uh, I'm just going to bring you some information there that is different than what I normally bring here. Does that make sense? I know a lot of people do that. I started doing it. It just seemed like a lot to manage. But then I realized it's just as much to manage and it's probably better to have its own space. So that's why I'm going to put it over there. I do have a scripture for you today though. And unfortunately it's not in the way of encouragement. The scripture is not. Now it's out of the book of Isaiah. And Isaiah has been well known to bring words of hope and encouragement to the people of Israel at the time. Uh, things were all going sideways and Isaiah prophesied uh, about a coming king. And we're just coming off of Christmas season and we know the, 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 the famous scriptures in Isaiah that talk about Jesus coming. And uh, then it was a, a bit later, <laughs> Jesus did come. But this is, this word from Isaiah is kind of a warning. And I just feel compelled to share this warning. This comes out of Isaiah 59 and um, verse 13, 14, and 15. And I'm just going to read it to you. We know we have rebelled and have denied the Lord. We have turned our backs on God. We know how unfair and oppressive we've been carefully planning our deceitful lies. Our courts oppose the righteous and justice is nowhere to be found. Truth stumbles in the streets and honesty has been outlawed. Yes, truth is gone and anyone who renounces evil is attacked. Boy, <laughs> history does repeat. We're in that kind of a place right now where truth is stumbling in the streets. It's like you're trying to get truth, I mean real truth. I'm talking about the things that Jesus would have us say. And it's getting difficult to get it out there. The literal translation here, even though in this particular translation it says truth stumbles in the streets. When you literally translate it, it says the truth daughters in the square. So what am I supposed to believe? You know, when people are speaking, are they actually speaking the truth? Because right in the next line, it says honesty has been outlawed. So when you try to speak the truth, 
it's not going to be heard. But when the non-truth is being spoken, it's going to be heard. Does that sound familiar to you? It does to me. We're living in that time. Once again, this isn't the first time, and it may not be the last. However, it sure does feel like it. We may be in a time where there's no turning back. Some may say, um, we've turned the corner and things have radically changed. Goodbye to America, or at least the idea of America, where things, you could speak truth and it wouldn't fall down, it wouldn't stumble, it would be listened to. Now when you speak truth, nobody pays attention to it. And why? Because there's so much non-truth, how are you supposed to discern between truth and non-truth? So it all goes to the wayside. It's weird, huh? I'm going to encourage you. Take the Word of God, read it, listen to what Jesus says, take it to heart, live that way, and disregard anything you hear when you turn on Main Street Media or read things in the newspaper or magazines or things that come across your news feed. Just disregard them. Use the Word of God as your standard. Okay? I mean, it's held the test of time. Isaiah talked about it thousands of years ago, and it's happening again. So why wouldn't we turn back to that text? The text that proclaims truth. All right, that's all I got for you. So it's an encouragement. Yeah, okay, don't forget. Go over to Project TSG, subscribe, ring the bell there. Ring the bell here, subscribe. We've got some stuff coming on Thursday. Happy New Year to you. New Year's Day is what? Saturday? Yeah, a couple days, three, four days away. Stay safe. Let's pray for a great 2022. And let's pray for the next few days of 2021 that it too can be great. All right? I'm praying that for you guys. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Just with that, he just don't really change the person.